Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Elizabeth. Now in today's video, I'm going to be doing another product review. Now the product I'm going to be reviewing is by Design Essentials. And it's the Almond and Avocado Curling Cream. This is this product right here. This is one of the products that I received in my curl box. And I'm so excited to try this product out. So let's start with where you can find this. So I got it in my curl box. But you guys can purchase this at Sally's for around... I don't even remember the price. You can see it right here. I'm going to make a guess. I think you can buy it around... $14? $13? This is a multi-purpose styler that soft and moisturizes and defines curls while adding definition and shine. So it says apply this product to damp hair and section it off. It says allow curls to form and air dry or lightly diffuse to set curls. I'm just going to apply this product regularly throughout my hair so let's get to the point. Wow, this is like not even a minute in or something. I'm already super quick. Aren't you guys so proud And I'm getting to the point? So this is how the product looks when it's inside. It has like a nice fruity citrus smell. Don't let the name fool you. It says almond and avocado but don't expect it to smell like that. This product really does smell um, fruity. It has like a citrus smell. It reminds me of the curl enhancing mousse that I did a review on, um, but it doesn't smell like alcohol. It really smells nice and fruity. Oh, okay. So as you guys can see, I wasn't expecting this kind of like, I don't know, the texture is kind of weird. Not weird, but I wasn't expecting it. So this is how it looks. Let's spread it. It's soft, but it has like, I don't know how to explain the texture to you. I don't know how to explain it, my bad guys. But this is how it looks, so let's just apply it regularly. Like the way that this product bounces back. I don't know, I don't, oh snap. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this too, because it reminds me of something, but I don't know. So that doesn't help out. And that's usually the finishing touch. A little bit of scrunching and that's about it. So yeah, this is all that I'm gonna apply to my hair right now. I'm gonna go ahead and let it air dry, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. So as you guys can see, my hair has some good shine to it, and that's one thing I am really liking about this product. One thing I wasn't expecting was to have a cast. In the beginning, while this product was drying on my hair, I noticed that my hair had a hold to it. So with that, I had to just scrunch it up, and that's what made my hair feel very soft. If you do have a heavy hand, this product will leave your hair with like a slight cast, so just make sure you scrunch up your hair. That way, the hold can disappear, and it'll end up leaving your hair feeling very soft. I like that this product left my hair shiny. I like that it's soft. I like that it's um, defined. So yeah, these are some of the things I do want to mention today. I want to keep today short and sweet because I want to give you guys my overall opinions and my reviews, my pros and cons tomorrow for day two. What's up guys? So today is day two of me reviewing this curling cream right here. So I could give you guys my overall thoughts, my pros and cons today. So one thing I would say is a pro with this is the way that it smells. That's easily debatable with some people because if they don't like fruity scents, they might not like it. But for me, I like the way this product smells. It has like a fruity, sweet scent that you don't really smell in hair products. I feel like in hair products, all you smell is coconut, more coconut, coconut oil, stuff like that. That's what you smell in hair products. But I really do like the way it smells. Another pro of this product is how soft it left my hair. On the first day, I noticed that this product had like a slight cast. So as soon as I broke it up, it left my hair feeling soft yesterday. And once I reapplied more products today, I didn't notice any cast. So that would be a pro for me that you don't have to worry about constantly trying to, you know, break your hair up of any cast. It feels nice and fluffy. So I do like that there's no stronghold with this. It feels pretty moisturizing. Would I use this product by itself? No. But can you? Yeah, you can. So for the first two days, I'm noticing that my hair doesn't feel dry and it feels pretty moisturized. So I am a fan of that. So let's move on to some of the cons with this product. So I feel like a con for me is the definition. While my hair is pretty defined, it's not as defined as I would like it to be, especially for a curling product. This says it's a curling cream. And I feel like, yes, it did you know curl my hair it did provide some definition but it's not as defined as I would like it to be especially yesterday um, my hair I don't know I thought my hair looked kind of weird yesterday I don't know I wasn't really liking my hair yesterday I don't know man it was kind of weird so with this product I feel like the definition is not really there for me like I keep saying my hair is really defined so if you guys are like girl well, your hair is defined yeah I know it's defined but it's not as defined as I would like it for a curling product a curling product like it's not that defined for me so I think that's pretty much the only con that I find with this product is the the definition now this product yeah it did say that it was gonna define curls while adding definition and shine this product isn't bad in the fact that it provides like softness it provides like moisture it provides a little bit of shine on the first day but if you're looking for a really good curling cream I wouldn't suggest using this product by itself maybe using it with like another product it provides other benefits just not the curling part 
which kind of defeats the purpose because it says it's curling cream. So yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say in this video. If you guys try this product out, let me know what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Leave it down in the comments below. I would love to know you guys' opinion. And if you guys have any other products that you guys would like me to try out, leave it down in the comments down below as well. I want to like try to tally it up and see what's like the main product that you guys would want to see next so that I can try to buy it and review it for you guys. So that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.